This is how the Earth looked at the end of the last ice age. The Northern Hemisphere covered in ice. Europe barely recognizable. But evidence suggests the world map is about to be redrawn by a mega flood of biblical proportions. Oceanographer Simon Boxall is fascinated by the idea of a planet changing flood and has nominated it for the top 10. This disaster begins around 10,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. A huge glacier covering an area we now know as Canada is receding. As it melts, a vast freshwater lake bigger than Texas forms. For a time, the water is contained behind a wall of ice. But eight and a half thousand years ago, this ice gives way, releasing this colossal body of water into the world's oceans. This had a dramatic impact on the already rising sea levels, adding a further one to two meters, three to six feet in a very short period of time. And if that was to happen today with the same speed, it would completely devastate London, New York. In fact, it would impact on every coastal nation around the world. And in the ancient world, the rising waters spreading across the planet could have also led to disaster. Because according to some studies, the area now covered by the Black Sea was once home to one of the largest populations of the time. 9,000 years ago, this would have been an enormous valley leading down to this huge freshwater lake. It would have been filled with settlements, farmlands, a population of over 100,000 people. But that all changed when the floodwaters hit. Swollen by the mega flood, water from the Mediterranean begins to pour into the region, transforming the once fertile land into a saltwater sea. Simon Boxall meets Konstantin Cherev, who in 2011 took part in a survey of the Black Sea that produced an astonishing find. When we uh, scanned the seabed, uh, we found a formation that's uh, really unusual. It was sort of a round hill, and that's not very common for the Black Sea. So we decided to send a probe and take a sample of it. As they carefully inspected the core sample, the scientists made an unexpected discovery tiny pieces of wood. When we analyzed the wood and carbon dated it, we found that it's 9,000 years old, and that's amazing. Where do you think it came from? The most exciting scenario is that uh, this underwater hill is actually uh, an ancient tail human settlement, because as a shape and size and height, uh, it exactly matches the settlements on the ground we found all over Eastern Europe. Cherev is certain an area that's now under 90 meters of water was once dry land. Absolutely. I'm 100% positive about it. To find out more about the people that were living in the region hit by the flood, Simon Boxall has been given rare access to examine an incredible archaeological find. Unearthed from a nearby burial site dating back over 6,000 years were over 200 skeletons, along with a spectacular treasure trove of gold. Expert Christo Smolinov believes this precisely made jewelry is proof of a surprisingly advanced civilization. For instance, those are two separate gold objects quite different, and still they fit perfectly. And this is more than you can expect from a culture 7,000 years old. It is a superculture. It's amazing how precise their measurements were. 
in a culture that is so ancient. Smolanov's calculations suggest gold plates like this were used as the template for the accurate design of the jewelry, and that the dimensions of these plates later became the basis of the measuring system used by the architects of the great pyramids of Egypt. This sacred measure is 2,000 years older than the pyramids, conceived of and implemented by the hidden superculture responsible for the Varna necropolis gold. Christo has little doubt this superculture was living right in the mega flood's path. And he believes the exodus of these people played a crucial role in the development of Western civilization. I think the migration of this superculture that followed some of the catastrophic events that took place here is responsible for the migration of knowledge as well. If Smolanov is correct, it is possible that the scattering of this ancient population may have sowed the seeds from which the Egyptian and Greek cultures eventually grew 2,000 years later. Simon Boxall is also convinced of the profound effect this mega flood had on humanity. This flood drove apart a burgeoning civilization, possibly one of the earliest we know. And yet, this flood could have been the catalyst that led to our modern civilization. And it's for this reason that I believe that this ancient flood deserves its place amongst the world's top 10 natural disasters. <laughs>